for anyone who teaches, there's nothing more joyful than a room full of students working together, deeply engaged in learning. Now imagine a building full of such rooms. That's Jacobs Hall. I'm delighted to celebrate the fifth anniversary of Jacobs Hall and the Institute. I have no doubt these new generations of innovators will make us all proud. I always have loved the saying that the best way to predict the future is to invent it. Then I love to find ways to create places where people are going to come together to invent that future. It's imagination. It's all about being creative and trying to figure out how to make things happen. As soon as I stepped in Jacobs, I was like, okay, I'm coming to UC Berkeley now. <laughs> if, if you're a creator by any means, it's a space that you, you would probably want to find yourself in. I think there are a couple of reasons why our students are so passionate to work in the Jacobs Institute. We give them all the resources and the access to mentorship and expertise to take something that's an idea and make it actually real. They can take a sketch on paper to a physical working product that they hold in their hands. Growing up, I didn't have access to any tools. So when I came here, I was looking at all the equipment. So I was like, wow. That was just a new step for me. Access to the resources, that was the biggest a new thing. So when I do feel inspired, I'm, I'm ready to not just document and not write it down, but build it. Over 7,000 students have taken classes at the Jacobs Institute, and over 8,000 students have taken part in the Maker Pass program. We have students from all over campus coming into Jacobs Hall, and students get to work together with students from other disciplines on projects that they may not have had other chances to meet. My favorite class, I was the only cognitive science student that didn't have a rigorous mathematical engineering background. So that was like very intimidating at first, but the ethos of Jacobs is that whatever experience I had could still be really useful. That was super cool. Instead of just saying like, I'm an engineer, I did all the math, I know this is right. There are like a lot of other things that go into what it takes to design something that's powerful. They learn how to value other perspectives and other contributions. And they can take their own projects that much further because we know diverse teams perform better on open-ended challenges. Some people are driven by creating things and selling things, but I think at the end of the day, it's more exciting when you're making something for another person. More than the tools, it's the community of makers wanting to learn together, grow together, and succeed together that makes the Jacobs Institute such a special place. It's very important to teach our students to design responsibly because we want to help shape a better future for all members of our society. It gives me so much joy to see how the Institute has grown and fulfilled the vision that we had for it. Thinking ahead far out into the future about how the world should be, but also how do we get from here to there. Where are we not serving our community? What did we do to double down on this thing that seemed to be working? Five years from now, I think the Jacobs Institute will scale its impact on campus and in the world. So I really wanted to link the theory and the practice of engineering to the actual building of things in the real world. And coming from the ethos of Berkeley to be engaged in the community, that's the future that we want to invent.